Here's two of the totes that I have connected together. These two totes are catching most of the rainwater off of the back of the building and the chicken coop. This tote over here, I made this new gateway yesterday for this chicken yard. And this tote is only catching water from this one little section all the water it's catching so it's going to take a take a little bit for it to fill up So yesterday, I took the chicks that were in this brooder and moved them down into this chicken coop. I laid some pine shavings down, fixed them their feed and water, put two heat lamps and their little heater over here for them. And they seem to be doing just fine and enjoying having all the extra room. Today we're getting some rain and uh, I got totes hooked up yesterday to catch rainwater. Uh, I've got a total now of uh, five totes around the property catching water. patched up the holes in the back wall of this chicken coop. I need to put my nesting boxes back in here, my roost back in here, and I'm going to fix it where I can put another one of these boxes in this chicken coop so I can have three brooders at one time if I wanted to. And I also need to make some roost to go in this chicken coop. I'll probably hold off just a little bit since I got those chicks in there now. Since the weatherman was calling for this rain that we're getting, yesterday I went with my parents and I picked out some plants and they came down as well as Billy. Catherine was at church and we planted a row of squash plants And then this is a row of cucumbers. And then there are four cucumbers planted here. Also, while we were planting, we have six of the tires have tomato plants in them. And the last two in this row have peppers in them. I've picked some lettuce out of the garden here and we've picked kale twice now. Quick tour of the greenhouse. Got turnips. I got a pepper and an eggplant. 
bunch of tomato plants with basil. Got some carrots in buckets and radishes in buckets. That's a pepper plant. A couple more tomatoes with basil. Several videos ago, I mentioned that I had seen a gentleman on YouTube from United Kingdom that grew carrots in buckets and I wanted to try growing carrots in buckets. Uh, I didn't couldn't recall his name at the time. Uh, I believe his channel is called Homegrown Veg. Um, but it's definitely worth watching. I like his videos. Um, they're pretty good. Uh, we got some cantaloupe that my son and daughter-in-law planted over here. I've got some tomato suckers. that I've put in dirt to see how they'll do. Some of them look like they're doing pretty good. Some not so good. I've noticed that the German queen suckers don't seem to do very well. The super sweet 100s seem to do awesome. Uh, got one lone Kajari melon plant that's come up couple of golden acre cabbage got a doctor witch's yellow tomato a couple brandywine tomatoes a yellow pear tomato uh, one banana pepper and then down here I've got a bunch of okra uh, some zucchini a white scallop uh, squash some golden zucchini early crookneck squash Arkansas picker and slicer cucumbers some sweet Genovese basil um, some lettuce top basil or lettuce leaf basil excuse me uh, some dark purple basil, some dill, got a bunch of kale, those tomatoes back there were started from suckers, those are super sweet 100, rain's coming down a little harder now in the greenhouse. temperature in the greenhouse just over 60 degrees I'm gonna go ahead and open the doors up the rain we're getting it might not get too hot in the greenhouse it's been getting been getting a, around 100 degrees in the greenhouse during the day with the doors open uh, the greenhouse catches a lot of heat that's all for now